basic solar setup. Before we begin, there are three things to consider. These are the solar setup components, electrical wiring, and operation of system. These things we will discuss throughout this video. Let's begin with the four basic components. These are the solar charge controller, sealed lead acid battery, solar power inverter, and of course the solar panel. Now let's go through them one by one. Let's start with the solar charge controller. This solar charge controller was made by a company called Landstar. On the control panel, there are LED lights indicating the temperature, power from the solar panel, a steady green light means charging, and a blinking green light means over voltage. There's also one for the battery. A blinking green light means battery is full. A steady green light means the battery is in normal. Orange, low battery, and red is for depleted battery. There are also LED lights indicating what type of battery you are using, sealed, gel, or flooded. And then there's the LED light for the load. This lights up whenever you engage the system to send power to the inverter, and this is initiated whenever you press this orange power on button. And on the front, you will also see the positive and negative terminals for the solar panel, battery, and power inverter. And on the back, you will see that this charge controller can handle both 12 and 24 volts with a current of 10 amps. Now let's look at the battery. This is a sealed lead acid battery that is specifically made for small solar setup. It is a 12 volt 20 amp hour battery with a max charging current of 6 amperes. Technically, these are very low maintenance batteries, but after some years of use, you can put distilled water into these battery terminals to extend its life and use. Now let's look at the power inverter. This is a 500 watt power inverter and its role is to convert electricity from the solar panel and battery which is DC 12 volts to AC 220 volts which is the electricity that most home appliances use. On one side of the power inverter we will see the on button which will send power from the inverter to the home appliance that you will use, a USB slot where you can charge your phone and gadgets, some LED lights to indicate operation, and then the AC out plug where you can plug in any home appliance that you want. Given that the appliance has a wattage that the power inverter can handle. And on the other side of the power inverter, we will see its positive and negative terminals, a couple of fuses, and its fan. Now let's look at the solar panel. Behind the solar panel, you will see its positive and negative wires. This is a 50 watt solar panel and it's been used for years so the label has been worn off. So before we set it all up, here's just a summary of how this all works. So electricity that is harvested by the solar panel goes to the solar charge controller which then charges the battery. Then power from the battery goes back to the charge controller, then goes to the power inverter which then powers your gadgets and home appliances. Easy right? So let's set it up. Step 1. Connect the positive and negative wire from the solar panel to the positive and negative solar panel terminal on the charge controller. Be sure to cover one of the terminals from the solar panel with electric tape to prevent it from short circuiting. As soon as the solar panel is hit with light, both wires automatically become live. As a personal rule, I always use the wire with a printed label on it for the positive terminal so that I won't get confused. Step 2. Connect the positive and negative battery terminal on the charge controller to the positive and negative terminal of the battery. Again, I will use the wire with the printed label on it for the positive terminal. As soon as the battery and solar panel are connected to the solar charge controller, some of the LED lights will light up. Here we will see that the solar panel is charging, the battery is in normal mode, and the sealed lead type acid is chosen as the battery type. Step 3. 
Connect the positive and negative inverter terminal on the charge controller to the positive and negative terminal of the power inverter. Power the inverter, press the orange power button on the solar charge controller. This will light up the load LED light on the solar charge controller and turn the power inverter's fan on. To power up the AC out and USB port on the inverter, press the on button. So let's try it and charge some gadgets. For this example, I will charge my MacBook Air and my smartphone. All right, they're both charging. Now let's try to power a 50 watt electric fan. And it works! This is truly free energy from the sun. Super cool! So the electricity harvested by the solar panel goes to the charge controller which then charges the battery which then powers the inverter which then charges my phone and powers this fan. Great job! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and then see you on my next video.